Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. Following on from last week's episode, today we have a fantastic tip for snoozing email for those who use email clients other than Gmail. I know what it's like. I have work emails that force me to use Outlook or OWA, the Outlook web access client. I mean, it works. It's just over-featured, clunky and slow. If you missed last week's episode, you may not have heard of the option to save an email over until it's more timely for you, called snoozing in Gmail. It's designed to help email pop into your inbox when you need it, rather than getting buried under three dozen other emails because somebody sent it to you two weeks ago. If you aren't using the Gmail client, there is still a way that you can do it, and it's called follow up then. And you can use it from any email client, including your phone. To get started, click on the link above to create your account. Enter your email address and they'll send you an email to confirm that address. Click on the link in your email and you're just about done. All you need to do is add your time zone in and a password. The service is free for basic use and there are some paid plans available if you want the extra features. To use the service, all you have to do is send an email to followupthen.com with the start of the email address being how long you want to wait or when you want the email back. Need it in three days? Send the email to three days at followupthen.com and it'll be back in your inbox in three days. As you can see here, it works perfectly on the iPhone email app. Really handy when you're on the go. Here's a great example. I bought tickets to see Queen and Adam Lambert live in Melbourne in February 2020. I can forward the tickets to 20 Feb 2020 at followupthen.com and the tickets will arrive back in my inbox on the morning of the concert right when I need them. You also get this handy notification to let you know that Follow Up Then is on the job. They also send you daily reminders of outstanding notifications, which, like all of the notifications, you can turn off in the settings menu. Want to run a test? Send an email to 10 minutes at followupthen.com. You'll get the notification to say they're on the job and then 10 minutes later, bam, that email's back in your inbox. Here's a reminder to call my mum for her birthday. Every July 16th, 11am at followupthen.com. Or even better still, every week at followupthen.com. Just to say hi. Love you mum. If you're sick of typing at followupthen.com, there's a couple of alternatives. When you first signed up, you will have got an email back with 70 or so of the most popular addresses. If you then hit reply all to that email, most email clients will remember all of those addresses and pop them up in the autocomplete section when you go to type an email. If you need that list again, you just email autocomplete at followupthen.com and they'll send another one. Works beautifully on the iPhone. They also have a second domain name at fut.io, which is shorter to type, but harder to remember. As an example, tomorrow at fut.io would get you an email back this time tomorrow. The free plan allows for 50 follow-ups per month, plus five recurring follow-ups per month, with these limits drastically increased for the paid plans, which start from just $2 per month. The professional plan even allows for SMS reminders. If you use the link up in the card above, you'll get $5 free with the compliments of follow-up then and the tech doctor. I hope that was helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you've come up with any creative uses for follow-up then. The Tech Doctor Network exists to help you become your own technician and navigate your technology maze. There's some videos you may not have seen here and here. You can subscribe to these videos clicking here and subscribe to our mailing list up here for some tech tips directly into your inbox. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.